watching West Harford Community Sorry. Television. You're watching West Harford Community Television. You're watching West Harford Community Television. For the community, by the community. Can you believe it? I cannot. It is the end of 2013 already. You better not touch that remote. You have to get this. The three power strategies for you to finish 2013 well and start 2014 strong. I'll be right back. Get ready to find hope. Get ready to be inspired. Get ready to discover your full potential. Get ready for total success from the total success coach, Princess Bola Adelani. Get ready to find hope. Get ready to be inspired. Get ready to discover your full potential. Get ready for total success. This is Princess Bola Adelani, the total success coach, welcoming you to Inspire Success, your monthly dose of inspiration power, the program that equips you with the power and inspiration for total success. That is success at work and in life. Yes, it is December 2013, and in a few days, this year is about to bite the dust, and we're about to begin a brand new year. And I know that, you know, some of you are kind of panicking, um, last minute things to do, and so on and so forth. But you know what? I have the power strategies for you to end well and to start strong. That's what this broadcast is going to be all about. There are three main power strategies because, you know, it is so important that you end this year on a high note in great spirits and start the new year very strong and excited because it absolutely impacts how the rest of the year is going to going to going to work out for you you know how you end a thing and how you begin something at the most crucial points really in in any venture so finishing this year well finishing it on a high note starting the new year strong is going to absolutely impact your success in 2014 and so i have the power strategies for you to end well and to start strong and what are they they are p p g that's the acronym PPG. If you can remember that, I guarantee you if, you, if you can remember and apply them, I guarantee you, you will finish, you will finish well and you will start strong. And so let's start with the first P. The first P is pray, pray. The next P is praise. And the, the G is for give. So we've got the three there. Pray, praise, and give. Praise, pray, and give. So as we're wrapping up the year, the, you know, the first step is the prayer. It's, it's really about reflecting on, on, on the year. It's reflecting on this year and, 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 and giving thanks and expressing gratitude for your successes in the, in the year. You know, I know there may be some of you who are watching the broadcast and who are thinking, you know what, <laughs> I have absolutely nothing to be grateful for, grateful for. You know, this year was really bad, you know. Um, I lost my job, I couldn't find a job, and so on and so forth. You know, but I, there's something I like to bring to your attention. No matter 
how bad your situation is. No matter what kind of rot you think that you are in, let me tell you this, you're still here. That is something to be grateful for. Just start with that. It doesn't matter whether you're watching this broadcast on a hospital bed or from, from prison or wherever, you know, in kind of the worst place or the worst conditions. The, 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 the beautiful thing is that you are alive. You're watching this broadcast. You're here. That is where your gratitude starts from. That is where you begin to express praise. You know, your praise starts from that you're still here. You know, you're, 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 you're still here. And think about it. Think about, you know, the, the possibilities, um, you know, of you not being here. Think about many people that, you know, you and I started the year with who are no longer here, you know. So want to thank God for life itself, just being here for the gift of life. And then you want to express gratitude for your family, you know, your loved ones. And, and the list is endless of things that you can really pray and praise, praise about. And, you know, I want to challenge you. Just actually begin by getting out a journal or a notepad and begin to itemize that. I begin to itemize. And like I said, begin with just thanking, thanking God for life. You know, I begin to itemize. And, you know, like the songwriter said, it will surprise you. It would actually surprise you. It says, count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. You'll be surprised when you begin to actually do that, you know. So that is the very first step to um, finishing well. You absolutely have to take stock and e express gratitude for your successes. It doesn't matter what failures you encountered in 2013. There is something about gratitude that just kind of shifts your energy. The, the focus shifts from, from not having, which is negative, to having, which is positive. So it just kind of shifts your energy and just, you, you know, begin to, uh, you know, you begin to uh, make you more joyful, really. And that's the energy with which you want to end the year on a joyful note, you know, with your spirit lifted on a thankful note, your spirit lifted and in and, and that kind of positive note. So absolutely pray and praise are the two first steps for you in finishing well and starting strong. And um, yeah, I know that <laughs> you are saying to yourself, oh gosh, there's so much to do and it's such a busy time of the year. But can you just carve out 10 minutes of your time? Something like that, 10 minutes in just total quietness, in, in solitude, where you're just able to quickly reflect and just, like I said, begin to itemize, begin to count and begin to list and begin to actually articulate and verbalize your gratitude and in a prayerful form and say, you know, God, I thank you for my life. I thank you for my family. I thank you for this. You know, so that is the first step, you know, the, 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 the setting the intention and making the time to pray and to praise. The importance of, of praise and prayer cannot be overemphasized. Like I said, one, one, one of the, um, the, 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 the benefits is that, like I said, with praise, it shifts your energy. You know, you focus from not having to what you have. And so that's from negative to positive and really shifts your focus. The other thing that it does is that it kind of opens you up. It just opens up your heart. It opens up your spirit to be able to receive more because now you've shifted. You know, when you're, you're negative, you close up your spirit, you're depressed. But when you're positive, you're opening up and you're saying, wow, I'm thankful. And it really kind of opens you up to receive more. And then as far as prayer is concerned, this is what, one of the quotes of my colleagues. I really absolutely love, um, love this quote. It says, prayerful preparation prevents poor performance. Prayerful preparation prevents poor performance. Prayerful preparation prevents poor performance. 
You know, there is something that I observe about uh, people and how they pray. And oftentimes prayer is utilized, this is what I've observed, as a defensive weapon. You know, so when there's a crisis situation, you know, everybody talks about prayer then. But this is something I'd like you to realize, that prayer is both an, a defensive as well as an offensive weapon. You know, so that you pray to prevent some things from happening. You know, to prevent tragedy. You pray to, to posture and position yourself um, to receive blessings. You pray, you know, to connect um, divinely with God, with the supernatural and to tap into divine power and to ask for heaven's help to really help, you know, you to achieve your goals and dreams um, in the coming year. And this is Princess Bola, in case you're just tuning in, um, this, uh, today's broadcast is about how to finish well and start strong. And we're looking at the three power strategies because you got to finish well and you got to start strong because how you finish and how you start are connected and those two impact your success in the coming year. And so it is important. So we've looked at the power strategies, P, P, G, and I said they're, they're, they're just um, some exercises for or acronyms, I beg your pardon, for prayer, praise, and give. Pray, praise, and give. And we just looked at about praise, you know, about prayer um, and, and, uh, and praising just for what we have. And now I'm looking at, about the, at the power of prayer. And I just said that, you know, prayer is not just, um, you know, this a weapon that we use or this activity that we engage in when there's a crisis situation you know when there's a crisis everybody says oh pray pray we're praying for you we're sending prayers here and all of that or someone's sick and then you know send prayers okay all that is good but i said prayer is also an offensive weapon that can prevent um you know evil from happening, can prevent tragedies, um, you know, and so it is important to pray. And I, I was sharing the quote of a colleague of mine, which I absolutely love, is prayerful preparation. You know, we have all kinds of preparation. I mean, absolutely. We, we can prepare emotionally, mentally, financially, physically, you know, for the coming year, and um, which is all good. But, you know, adding prayer to that, you know, prayerful preparation will prevent poor performance because by praying we are, um, you know, we're connecting. We're connecting with supernatural power really, and, and invoking um, divine blessings, um, you know, for the coming year. And so that is so important um, to, to do that. And, and the good news that I have for you is that, you know, I have created the program for you to be able to engage in that activity of prayer because I realize that some people, you know, um, struggle with this concept of prayer and how to pray and how not to pray. And so I've actually created the program for you so that you can tap into you, into that you can plug in uh, with a community of other pe praying people and, and, and actually do it, you know, get to do it. So it's not just about, um, you know, you knowing what the principles are, but actually applying it. And so December 1, 1st, through the seventh, um, we're gonna. I'm gonna be having a prayer teleconference. It's gonna be virtual, so hey, it doesn't matter where you're watching the broadcast from, be it China uh, <laughs> or India or Africa or England, wherever. You know, you can actually participate. You just need to set your clock because it's gonna be December one to seven at nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, so it's a seven-day prayer, uh, praise, and, um, and prophetic, um, you know, um, teleconference. And um, the call letters for, 
for for you to dial in. Uh, it's going to be on the screen. It is, um, you know, going to be on the screen with, and like I said, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you can just plug in, you know, to that, into that. So you have it right there. So no excuse, no excuse, no excuse like, uh, Princess Bola, how do I do this? I'm kind of, you know, confused. Uh, I don't understand prayer, you know, da, da, da. So, hey, you know, and then also to kick off the new year, January 1 to 7th as well, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, is going to be another prayer, praise, um, prophetic teleconference. So that's really very exciting. Actually, I'm planning that in 2014. I want to make that um, a monthly program, a monthly program. So the first seven days of every month, you know, because I believe in prayer, you know, take it from a, a woman of prayer. I believe absolutely in prayer. Uh, all of my success, <clears throat> excuse me, all of my success, I attribute honestly to, to prayer, honestly. Um, that is what takes place behind the scenes that you don't see. I do all the, the things that I need to do in the natural. I do, I network, I, I'm a lifelong learner. I attend seminars, I, I'm very academic, I study. I, I do all those things, you know, I'm a great marketer. I do all the things that I need to do. You know, I'm, I'm a good planner and, and, and so on and so forth. And I, I and, and um, you know, I absolutely um, believe that in that. But then I, I, I know this, that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. And it's not really about how smart you are and about all how good you are, you know, with all these things. And because there, there are just certain intangible factors that impact success. I believe there's so many intangible factors. Goodwill, you know, people call it goodwill. Some people call it luck. Being at the right place at the right time and that kind of thing. But I, I believe that there is a supernatural hand that really can help to move and maneuver us, you know, and cause us to be at the right place at the right time and find favor with people and all of that. And um, the way I connect is through prayer. And so I, I believe in prayer. So, you know, you, you got it. December 1 to 7. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The call letters are on the screen. Um, January 1 to 7, same time, 9 p.m., 9.30. I beg your pardon. It's 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can call in and to um, participate in the, um, the teleconference. So you got that. You got it now. So we got to down to, to the two principles, okay? We're talking about... Finishing well and starting strong. Absolutely, you got to, you got to finish well. No matter how the year has, has, has been looking for you, you know, you can actually come across the finish line very, um, very, very well. You can, and you can begin um, 2014 um, strong. I actually also forgot another prayer program that I have coming up which is a prayer retreat, actually. It's a three-day retreat to close off um, 2013. Um, it's, it's, re it's called Retreat and Reset. Retreat and Reset. So you need to recalibrate. You know, after you kind of uh, reflect on the year, uh, part of the evaluation that I normally would make is, okay, so um, where did I not miss it? What strategies didn't work? And of course, we know that we are going to reset and, and recalibrate in the coming year. And so um, that is actually December 29th to 31st, 29 to 31. And we're going to a very secret location somewhere in Connecticut. If you're interested in that, contact me ASAP because it's a very small group of women. No, guys. Sorry, guys. Um, that I'm going to be taking on this um, retreat and reset, um, December 29 to 31. It's going to be really powerful, really, and um, it's going to be a coaching prayer session where we're re-strategizing, planning, setting goals for the new year, 
and all of that good stuff. It's going to be really good. I'm really excited about that. December 29th to the 31st. Contact me. You know where to, to reach me. Info at royalproclamations.com or you can give me a call. Facebook, you know where to reach me and, and, and um, register and, and learn more about that. So we got the prayer covered now. You got praise, you got prayer, and then giving. Giving, tis the season to give. Absolutely. You know, um, this is um, what Jesus Christ said. It is more blessed to give than to um, blessed to give than to receive. But you know, the way I see giving, how can you um, not be, if you're really thankful, you know, you would want to share. You just want to share. There's just something about sharing that just sets you up for, um, for receiving, number one. But more importantly, that just makes you feel good. There's just something very empowering about about sharing, about giving, you know, it's very therapeutic, honestly. And so sometimes, you know, you, we do it maybe for selfish reasons, but it is very therapeutic, you know. And, um, you know, it, does, it doesn't matter. Like I said, you may be in that place where you think, oh, my God, this year has been awful. I have nothing to give, Princess Bola. Like, you don't even have a clue what rot I'm in. You know, how bad 2013 has been or whatever. Oh, I dare to disagree, you know, because you have something to give. Let me tell you one thing you have. Time. You can, you can give time. You can donate your time. You can donate your time to listen to someone, to pray for someone, to give someone a helping hand. We all have time, right? So that's one huge resource. Um, you can, you can, you can, you can, um, you can donate, you know, like I said, your time by just encouraging, praying, being there for someone listening. You can donate your talent, you know, um, you know, giving doesn't always have to be financial. You can donate your talent and, um, you know, you can donate that. And you can also donate in kind. You can give in kind. Look through your wardrobe. Oh, girl. Mm, mm, mm. If you're like me, I'm sure there are one or two or three items you haven't worn in years that are in excellent condition. Probably there is even something that still has the tag on it. It still has the tag on it that you haven't worn. You can give that. There's just something about giving in this season especially that I just feel that is a way of finishing well and starting strong. Because like I said, number one, it positions you to receive, but it's so therapeutic. It's so empowering. And, um, you know, I have the program for you. So you're without excuse. You are without excuse. I have the program for you. Because, you know, people say, okay, I don't know what to give, what charities, what nonprofits. There's so much out there. Where do I start? I have the program for you. My Operation Joy to the World program to um, the homeless community is a program for you that you can give through. It is a great, great program. I've been doing it for 10 years years we actually go into the shelters we sing you know we take refreshments we distribute gift items you can donate gently used clothing you know good condition the unique thing about this program is that we actually go into the homeless community and we engage them we engage them we have a program for them oh and they absolutely love it and that'll be the week before christmas um you know december 16th through the 24th through Christmas Eve and we'll be going from one shelter to the other in the inner city of Hartford and if you cannot go there are other ways of course you know you can participate give 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 I, it reminds me of a chorus you know that we used to sing back in the day in Sunday school give if we shall come back to you good measure press down shaken together running over give and he shall come back to you, something like that. When you give unto the Lord, something like that, along those lines. But you get what I'm talking about, giving. You know, it just sets your spirit um, 
uh, free. It's about setting your spirit free to really be able to receive and just elevate and your spirit soars with joy. And that's the note on which you want to end. And that's the note on which you want to begin. So you got it. Pray, praise, give. And we're talking about finishing well, starting strong. And then starting strong, 2014, I cannot wait. I am so excited about this coming year. I am so excited. I feel so good about it. I feel so good. Be and I feel good. I think it's because I have two powerful programs. There are two new programs, two new Royal Proclamation programs that I'll be launching in 2014 just for you. Just for you. One is a spiritual program. One is a coaching program. It is designed to cause you to help you to climb higher and go deeper in 2014. 2014 is your year. I'm telling you, it's going to be a great year, a year of remarkable blessings. And I have the programs and I'm still keeping that under wraps. That will be unveiled and revealed to you in the new year. But you can save the date, January 17th. 2014 i'm having an open house in west hartford connecticut and we're going to i'm going to be sharing about this new program january 17th st james sp copal church 1018 farmington avenue in west hartford connecticut and i'll be going to be sharing about um these new, two new programs i have designed with you in mind for the new year. So that is it. So very, 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 very exciting. I cannot end this broadcast without expressing my praise and my gratitude to you. Oh, throughout 2013, you have been so good to me. You've watched the broadcast. You've attended my events. You know, you commented on Facebook. Uh, you've given me feedback. You've seen me in town. You've hugged me. You've loved me. And I really so appreciate that. It means the world to me. I want to say a big thank you to all the WHC TV team, all the camera people who have, you know, shot, done the work behind the scenes and to G2 and everybody else. A big, 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 big thank you. Big thank you to my family, to my two amazing boys, Emmanuel and Enoch. You know I love you to life, you know, and, and just all my loved ones far and near. I, I want to express a, a huge, huge, my gratitude. You have been amazing. I'm thankful that you are in my life. Mm, I hope I don't get emotional. I'm thankful that you're in my life. You mean the world to me, honestly, seriously. Without you, there's no inspired success. Without you, there's no royal proclamations. You know what I'm saying? So thank you for keeping this dream alive and keeping this vision alive. I am so thankful. I want to wish you and yours a very Merry Christmas. I'm looking forward to seeing you on all this program, the prayer line, the prayer retreat, Operation Joy to the World, and then January 17th for that evening of Inspired Success at 6.30 p.m. where we're going to be networking and I'm going to be sharing all these fun things with you. Oh, this is Princess Vola Adelani, the Total Success Coach, reminding you to keep smiling put a smile on your face come on life's too short keep believing keep networking keep learning and you better keep on keeping on oh you're on the winning side i look forward to seeing you soon next month god bless you thank you so much for tuning in bye